Tanya Bardsley suffered a wardrobe malfunction as she attended the ITV Palooza event at the Royal Albert Hall in London on Tuesday. The reality star, 40, was seen covering her chest as she made her way to a waiting car after the event where she donned a strapless fuchsia dress. It comes after Tanya recently suffered with a seizure and heart palpitations and was left bed-bound after taking medication for her ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Tanya's garment, which appeared to slip off at the top, featured a flowing train and a pleated detail while Tanya added height to her frame with silver heels. The former Real Housewives of Cheshire star also carried a matching silver clutch bag and added to her outfit with a silver necklace. Styling her brunette locks into loose waves, Tanya was taken to a waiting car after the event. Meanwhile, Tanya took to Instagram last week to share a video of herself looking exhausted and shaking her head as she told of the debilitating side effects of the medicine she took to help with her symptoms. Tanya, who quit the reality show last month, issued a stark warning to her fans after she followed ADHD medical advice she found online, with the star admitting she felt like she was trapped in concrete. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD, is a behavioral condition defined by inattentiveness, hyperactivity and impulsiveness. It affects around 5% of children in the US. Some 3.6% of boys and 0. 85% of girls suffer in the UK. Riding alongside her video, Tanya said, Warning, I've been doing a lot of research on everything about ADHD for a special project, I have tried three different medications for ADHD and I stopped taking the third ones after I had heart palpitations and a seizure, so I've been back fully ADHD and my focus and been terrible these past few weeks. Revealing she followed advice from another ADHD sufferer she found on the internet, she went on, I read on a forum the other night that a lady just takes a ADHD tablet on the day she has to be focused to get work done so I thought too this could be perfect for me. The TV personality then went on to reveal how the medication affected her before warning others not to follow in her footsteps. She penned, I took one 40 mg atomoxetine tablet last night, the tablets I originally started on that didn't give me heart palpitations, I felt sick all night and been bed bound all bloody day I slept nearly all day and feel like I'm trapped in concrete. I'm going to throw myself in a cold shower to try wake up for the kids now but just wanted to warn you don't be an idiot like me and take advice from the internet, also guess how much work I got done today, zilch. Tanya's post was met with lots of supportive messages from fans and showbiz pals including Olivia Atwood, Candice Brown, and Leilani Dowding. In June this year, Tanya discussed her feeling of relief after she was diagnosed with ADHD before her 30th birthday. The Wigan Barn star revealed doctors had treated her for anxiety and depression for many years before finally discovering she had the condition. Speaking candidly on this morning, she said she had been in a lot of dark places before her diagnosis, and said she would suffer from a sinking feeling and an inner restlessness. She explained, All my life I've been treated for anxiety and depression, six weeks before my 30th birthday I was diagnosed with ADHD. It comes out differently in women. You think of a little boy running around, but a lot of women have it. It comes out as a sinking feeling and an inner restlessness. The mother of four revealed she has had thousands of people messaging her because they believe they have the same thing. I think the doctors are going to hate me because they're going to have cues of people who think they have it, Tanya said. 
the reality television star also revealed a whopping 1 in 4 women who are undiagnosed commit suicide. Meanwhile, quit the Real Housewives of Cheshire following a six-year stint on the show, according to reports. The reality star is said to have made up her mind and has been really struggling with her anxiety recently. Mother of Fort Tanya was taken to hospital in August following a stress-related seizure which caused her to collapse while working as a model during a photo shoot. A source told The Sun, she'll finish the current series and appear in the reunion show but nothing more than that. Her anxiety got bad over lockdown and she just really wants to concentrate on herself. Her recent collapse really scared her and she knows she can't continue juggling so many plates. They added, she loves the show but it is really stressful at times and it just feels like the right time for her to walk away. Mail Online has reached out to representatives for Tanya and ITV for comment.